G'day, I'm Peter Fritz and welcome to Landscape Photography in Three Minutes. Today we kick off with four compelling reasons why you might want to become a landscape photographer. Starting with number one, first off, landscape photography gets us outside. And this is really important for a very specific reason. For 400 million years, that's where we spent the bulk of our time. It's in our DNA. It reduces stress. It makes us feel calmer. It makes us feel more connected to this place that we live in, this blue marble floating through space. Number two, it gets us moving. If we're outside looking around for photographic opportunities, it gets us moving, especially our legs, the most important muscles in our body and the ones that if used enough will guarantee us mobility as we get older. It's the one thing that so many old people suffer from as they get older is a lack of mobility because they just didn't walk enough. So getting outside gets the circulation going, gets air going through our lungs, gets our legs moving, builds our core strength. It's really good for our physical health and therefore also our mental health. Reason number three, it takes our mind off other things. If I have a complex problem to solve, almost inevitably the best way for me to do it is to distract my conscious brain. And the way that I do that is to get in my car and go for a drive, usually in the country, windy roads, where I, my conscious mind is physically distracted with the act of driving. I figure it's a bit like trying to photograph woodlands. The woodlands oftentimes are very difficult to photograph. They're a mess, but bring in some fog and some mist and it covers over, it hides the mess, it diffuses the mess so that we can see the beauty of what's in the foreground, the things that attract us to the woodlands. And our brains are the same, we've got our conscious mind, our subconscious mind and our unconscious mind, but when we're trying to solve a problem, when we're dealing with stress, when we're dealing with pressures, it's our conscious brain that is working away constantly at this. And then when we go to sleep, it's our subconscious working on it. No wonder we wake up exhausted. If we distract our mind with the simple act of walking around, taking photos, looking for compositions, uh, perfecting and practicing our craft, it settles the mind enough so that the subconscious can go on and heal whatever it is that's troubling us or solve whatever problem it is it needs resolving. Um, so it's a tremendously helpful for distracting us and helping with problem solving and stress relieving. And the fourth reason is it helps to balance out the input versus output problem that we all face. Because we spend so much time in front of screens consuming stuff, it creates a huge imbalance. By going outside and taking photographs of things, we are not consuming, we're not taking all these inputs as much as we are creating, we're producing something, something that compounds over time. Skills which deliver an enormous amount of pleasure, which um, we can carry through with us until we die. That's the beauty of landscape photography. So long as you can move about, then it's something that we can do for the rest of our lives. So that's it, four compelling reasons why you might wanna become a landscape photographer or why you might choose to continue with landscape photography. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. For more on this subject, just click here.